All right, then let's take a look at the dents on the smoke, which has something to do with the fluid container. In the pyrosolver spars updated from Houdini 18.5, the active region is the actual simulation region. Logically, it can be updated in every frame. Let me visualize the velocity field to explain how the dents are generated. I enabled the calculate speed field before. Let's dive into it. Here it is, calculate speed. It applies length analysis to the valve field to gain the size of the valve field. We can check the issue intuitively through it. Here we need to sample the speed field, but I'm not gonna scatter points here because it doesn't help the observation. Duplicate this node, then drop a gray node. Enlarge the clipping range. Sample speed field. We can see the newly generated speed field is relatively weaker. When the smoke arrives here, it will get slower. Yet the other parts of smoke will still go up as usual, thus the dents appear. The padding in dub takes care of this issue. If it's increased somehow, the active region can be expanded in advance, this way the issue can be solved. Okay, let's increase the padding. But we can see the fluid container is enlarged in all directions. Let's check the food book again. The smoke goes straight up and it hardly goes down or around. Thus, a small part of the simulation region will be wasted. Let's see how to improve it. The same operation to find the required node. The outer fluid container is obtained by the bound one here. The compute active node controls the expansion of the active region. Set it to 3. Then we can adjust the expansion in a single axis separately. Reset the value here. Let's first expand the fluid container by 40 overall, and then add 30 on the positive y axis individually. To compare the two methods intuitively, I also cache out the result that only the padding was changed. All right, let's take a look. The left one is the result through revising the inside parameters. As for the right one, only the padding was changed. There are many obvious dents on the right simulation, yet only few on the left one. Later, we will add some small noise to it, and the dents will be invisible. I also recorded the cache time. The right simulation takes 10.01 seconds, and the left 9.33 seconds. Maybe you think the difference is not much. In fact, this is only a low-res simulation. When we bring up the simrest later, the time difference will get much larger. There is one more thing to be noted. Let's increase the res a bit. We can see the active region shrinks a little bit, so when we simulate in the final resolution, the active region needs to be expanded a bit more, otherwise dents will still appear. Okay, return to the previous resolution. Bring up the parameter here to 6. Next, we're gonna refine the shape and add details. 